Actually, I'm gonna stop it. Actually, no, I already went over. So, all right, so, all right, so, let's see. I could just edit that. So, let's go ahead and do it. There we go. Mouthpiece in, which makes it three times more difficult. Yeah. Huh. 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 I want you guys to say hello to my little friend.
Anyhow, as you can tell, I actually use her for my footwork. Alright? I punch towards her, but I still don't hit her, but I'm just saying, so I can get used to the momentum, stuff like that, climbing up the ring with her. Alright? We're limited to your creativity is what I'm getting at. Alright, and as you can see, with the sparring, only going at 20%, but it's still taxing as hell. And it allows you to do high volume. So you can really get yourself in that real rhythm of battle to where you test your true cardio, your true fortitude, all that good stuff. And if you're watching, I got tired in my regular stance and I switched it up. And I was hitting them pretty good until I realized what was going on. <laughs> No, I was letting it. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, I was letting him because I noticed that because he's not, obviously not a lefty, and again, he's not training to be a fighter. So yes, I trained him from the beginning to do both sides. So this time he just he got enough confidence. Why? Because he was so exhausted from the orthodox side. But after doing two rounds, again, he's not a fighter, so that's why he probably felt the need to to switch. And obviously, he admitted it. There's not, you know, that that makes him even a better man because he acknowledged his flaws or whatever. Now that he acknowledges it, now he knows that he, what he needs to do in order to balance himself out in the real rhythm of battle, in the real, real rhythm, rhythm of battle, whether it's the street or in the ring or whatever the case may be. All right, but the point is, is that he was trying to be efficient while being proficient, all right? Meaning he was using both sides, uh, being proficient with it. Uh, and then the other thing is being efficient overall because he was switching because he was too tired with the other side. Alright, I beat plenty of people like that before where they couldn't use the other side. So TKO or in the ring or TKO in the real uh, uh, street, alright, they just basically gave up. And I'm that honorable type where I don't, you know, try to teach that person a lesson. If they give up, they give up and that's that. As long as they don't attack me anymore, you will not be sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, so, you're only limited to your creativity. Pain is temporary, pride is eternal, fulfillment lasts forever. As you can see, he wanted to give, I don't know if he, he was, it was over here a little bit off camera, but he kind of stopped a little bit. Uh, but as soon as I pumped him up, he's like, fuck this, he's not gonna let, he's not gonna be overpowered. And that's when, uh, I believe it, shortly thereafter is when he switched. Um, and it worked for him, alright? And, and technically, yes, I was letting him uh, 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 um, get a little confident because I noticed he was feeling good with it. Alright, he got the little second win in a, in a sense, and I was trying to let him get tired out and he wouldn't. So then I was like, fuck this, I gotta attack back. Alright, I can't give him too much confidence. Alright, because I know my student pretty well, I know that he can, he knows how to use his, Second, third, fourth, fifth win and stuff like that because you know we've been working on a lot on breathing techniques. All right, anyhow, so as you can see, you're limited to your creativity, okay? So use your creativity to erase any limits that you think you have. All right, keyword think, all right, meaning don't think about all these limits that you might have. All right, just think of how to freaking overcome them and then just act on it. And you know, don't be afraid of mistakes. All right, adjust your mistakes, all right? Especially if it's something new. It's technically not a mistake if you do a little slip up. Why? Because you don't know it. If you knew it and you did the slip up, yeah, it's a mistake, all right? But if you're learning it, it's not a mistake. You're just, uh, alert. it's the learning process, all right? So don't be afraid of mistakes. Don't fear mistakes. Fear, fear alone. Get rid of freaking fear, all right? So uh, I wanna give thanks for, to Warrior, both Warrior Steve for uh, helping us uh, demonstrate that sparring session the first time. Or the mirror for earlier. Uh, I got over here uh, Warrior Abby and Warrior uh, Bella. The one you just seen a little while ago. They also train with us, believe it or not. They pump us up. This one right here. And over here, Bella, uh, uh, Abby. All right, both women. Uh, female dogs, whatever. But they're really good at pumping. You guys should do that. Inquire your, your dogs. If you have kids, inquire your kids into the training, all right? Again, you're only limited to your creativity. Kill method, baby. Knocking out the competition. Speak. Speak.